Rumors about the Samsung Galaxy S21 series have been floating around for some time, and, with three months left until the announcement, a lot of confusion remains. Fortunately, Steve Hemmerstoffer is here with the very first renders and 360-degree video of Samsung's next-gen flagships. Samsung has a unique new camera bump in the works. Pictured today is the standard Galaxy S21 5G model. It boasts a revised look that centers around an all-new camera design that creates a more unique look. Samsung has replaced the rather boring all-black camera bump used on the Galaxy S20 with one that matches the phone's color. Each individual sensor is highlighted inside the area, much like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and the bump itself curves over the metal frame. There seem to be no plans to add extra cameras in 2021, Samsung has fitted the Galaxy S21 with three rear cameras, although the usual sensor upgrades for better results are to be expected. The Galaxy S21 looks a lot like the Galaxy S20 from the front. Samsung received praise for the minimalist front panel design introduced on the Galaxy S20, and these leaked renders suggest the South Korean company has taken everything on board. The 5G Galaxy S21 looks almost identical to its predecessor, thanks to the presence of a 6.2-inch punch hole screen. Samsung has again implemented thin bezels, and the chin seems to be a little slimmer. All of this means that the 5G Galaxy S21 and 5G Galaxy S20 are almost the exact same size. Both phones are 151.7mm tall and 7.9mm thick without taking the camera bump into account, although there is a slight difference in width, the Galaxy S21 is 71.2mm wide, whereas the Galaxy S20 was only 69.1mm wide. Other features that are visible in the renders include a bottom firing speaker and a USB-C connector. Sitting on the right side is the usual power button and volume rocker. As was the case this year, there's no legacy 3.5mm headphone jack. Samsung Galaxy S21 5G Specifications Announcement Release Date The Samsung Galaxy S21 should launch with the next-generation Snapdragon 875 in the United States and the upcoming Exynos 1000 or 2100 in Europe and most other international markets. Those chipsets will likely be coupled with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage as a minimum. Other configurations with more storage and extra RAM should be available at launch too. As for the battery, the Galaxy S21 is expected to feature the same 4000 mAh battery used inside the Galaxy S20. Battery life should be better, though, because Samsung is expected to use more efficient 5G modems and a 5nm chipset, both of which will reduce power consumption. On a related note, recent reports claim Samsung will offer support for 25-watt power adapters, although these might not ship inside the box. As for the announcement and release date, reports suggest Samsung is looking to announce the Galaxy S21 series in January, a full month earlier than usual. Steve Hemmerstoffer corroborates this timeline. It'll allow Samsung to start shipping the smartphones in February and ultimately take advantage of the lack of competition. And that's it for today. If you want to keep in touch with the latest leaks and rumors in the tech world, then click that subscribe button below. Thank you for being here. See you in the next one.